Joining us by phone right now from Fort Loudon, Pennsylvania is Tracy, as well as her daughter, Sarah. And we're dealing with a different P topic. So what's going on, Tracy? Hi, um, my daughter, Sarah, got poison ivy on her face over the summer. And it started in one eye and quickly spread to the other to where they were swollen shut. And uh, we were at a campfire, and we think that it happened at the campfire through the air. And how can I pre prevent this from happening again? Oh, man, I, I feel for uh, little Sarah there. But, well, so here's a few tips on how to maybe make sure it doesn't happen again. First, uh, first off is recognizing what poison ivy looks like. And generally, it ha well, actually, poison ivy always has three leaves. Leaves of three, let it be. That's the, the mnemonic. If it has three leaves, it definitely could be poison ivy. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's red, or sometimes it's a reddish green, depending on the seasons. It can be on the ground, it could be climbing up a tree, it could be a bush, it can look a, a, like a lot of things. Also, uh, you mentioned the campfire. If it gets burned, that oil can actually spread in the air. The oil that's on the leaves is called Urushiol oil, and it, it's, it's very sticky and tacky. It can get on the clothes, on your pets, on tools. Uh, and, uh, you know, once it gets on your skin, uh, a reaction will start within about 24 to 48 hours. So maybe the next day or the day after you start to get that, that reddish rash, blistery sometimes. And it is so, so itchy. It'll drive you mad. But <laughs> if you know that you've been exposed, you know, you saw some poison ivy and you think you might have touched it, if you can wash off that oil within a few minutes, sometimes some people say it's up to an hour, if you can wash that off, you won't get a reaction. Now, you want to use cold water, because if you use warm water, you actually open up your pores, and the oil will go into your pores, and that's not good at all. So cold water and a good soap, because that soap will actually kind of bind the oil and carry it yes. off your skin. It's very important to use It, it looks soap. like Sarah may have been rubbing her yeah, eyes that's probably what with happened. that pattern that she mm -hmm. had so clearly yeah. distinct. Mm -hmm. Now, Tracy, I'm curious, uh, d did you get any treatment uh, from the doctor for Sarah? We did. My husband is highly allergic, too, so we mm. knew it was poison ivy, and we went to our family doctor, and she got a shot. Okay. I like think a, it was a, like a steroid. steroid. prednisone shot or something like yes. that? Yes. That's really good, because a lot of people think, oh, poison ivy, I'm just going to have to deal with it at home. Mm -hmm. But your doctor can give you a prescription uh, for a short course of, you know, a week or two of some steroids, and that actually will really quell the reaction and make you much less miserable. So I'm glad uh, And usually happens. if you have a minor reaction say it's on your arms or your legs, you'll just use a steroid cream that your mm -hmm. doctor will prescribe. Right. In Sarah's case, when it's involving the face like that, you need to get on oral steroids mm -hmm. or get a steroid shot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, In Tracy, case, really is Sarah there? Can I talk to her? Yeah, sure. Hold on. I'll put her on. Thing. Hi. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> How are you doing now? We're looking at pictures of you when you had poison ivy, and that looks pretty miserable. Are you better now? Yeah, I'm much better. Okay, well, I'm so glad you're feeling better, and... I hope you never uh, touch this stuff again, huh? Thank you. All right, thanks. Well, thanks, Sarah. Your work here is done, yeah. <laughs> so the takeaway here, leaves of three, let, let it, be. it be. If you get a bad reaction, steroid Steroids. creams can help. If it's in, on your face, like in Sarah's case, you should talk to your doctor about an actual prescription for either oral steroids or a shot.